Okay, I tried. I can't keep it stock and I don't have any epoxy or any time to make new scales. So we are going to texturize on these steel scales and um, copper plate them, see how it goes. Okay, let's take this thing apart real quick again. Can't think of what this thing's called. The lock. <laughs> the um, stop pin. There you go. Stop pin. Yeah, think of it. And there we go. Stop pin's out. That's nice, though, that it hangs in there. Actually, it looks like they have the two stop pin holes. Maybe slightly larger? Let's see. For this scale. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Yeah, that's cool. So, there we are. Two scales all ready to sand down and get some texture and then <clears throat> we're going to uh this is my mixture we're going to uh, put them in a bath with some electricity and copper plate them so what i've done in the past and we'll try to do it here is i'm going to not turn this belt on but use this belt to give nice straight lines to the scales gives it texture um, both for appearance and feel, a little more grip, but it would make it easier if the um, wheel doesn't spin. So I'm going to clamp it down and hopefully hold that in place so that way I can get more pressure and I don't have to both hold the belt from spinning and move the scale down. So here we are. Scale. And I will run it in a straight line this way. And you can see it's uh, already starting to scuff it up just a little bit. So you take your time. See the comparison here? It's simple, but uh, pretty effective. Gives it a good a good clean look as long as you don't go side to side and you keep all of the scuff lines going the same direction and apply even pressure across the piece of metal scale whatever you're doing this to uh, and then also pay attention to if you're getting more cut out of certain areas like we're not we need a little more over up here by the pivot hole so i'll apply a little more pressure on this pass up there and just keep working it until until it gets to a point where it looks like what you want There we go. Okay, so I've got my copper dip, muriatic copper solution, a uh, just an old copper pipe hooked up to the positive, a uh, 20 volt DeWalt battery. Scales are clean with some alcohol. I'm out of acetone, otherwise I would use that. And um, let's dip them and see how it works out. Let's see, is there enough? That's not gonna be enough purchase. So I'll hook them in between here in between the pivot and the um, button. And you'll see it, from when I've done this in the past, you'll see it start to scale. So you can leave it in there for a really long time, but once it forms that scale on top, it doesn't seem to plate anymore. We'll let it finish bubbling. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna put my, my respirator back on. And here we go. Where are you at? There we go. Here we go. Right here. Copper. It's not perfect. Um, it's a thin plate, of course, because just doing it home with a drill battery and some old copper pipe and a muriatic solution. But it, it works. It'll tarnish. I'm not going to cover it with anything. And uh, show weathered and wear off in places. It'll look pretty cool. It's not as slick. The texture is just ever so slight um, on them. 
but you can see it, it just gave, gives it a little bit of depth. But uh, yeah, so that'll tide me over till I figure out what uh, scales I want to do and have time to deal with that. So let's get it uh, put back together. Knock that up. It is now a little bit copper.